Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello viewers, today I'm going to show a simple truss member using ANSYS Mechanical EPDL. At node number 1 it is having hinge joint and a node 4 is supported on a ruler arrangement and this support allows a freedom of movement at an angle of 30 degree. Area of cross section of this truss member is 120 square millimeter and we have to determine the nodal displacements, variations and the stresses in the truss members. Okay. You can see the length of these truss members. Total length of the truss member is equal to 6000 millimeter. Okay. So without wasting time, let us start modeling. Preprocessor, element type. We have to add the element. Nothing is defined, so we have to add it. Better to select link with 3D fine strain and element type reference number is 1. That is very important. That needs to be recalled while providing stress. Okay. Let us close it. Now, material port is to be provided. It will be coming from material models, structural, linear, elastic, and isotropics. That means material property will remain the same in all directions. Modulus of elasticity of this material is 2 into 10 to the 5 newton per millimeter square. So it can be denoted as 2E5. And poison ratio will be 0 0.3. Okay. Next to that, we have to provide cross section layer of this link. Select link and we have to add the area. Link section ID is 1. And let us provide the cross section area name as square cross section. And the cross section area equal to 120 millimeter square. Okay. Next one, we have to start modeling. Better to create the model with nodes itself. So we have to start modeling with nodes. We have to create nodes in active coordinate system. Let us see the model and we can model it accordingly. So we have to create we have to create different numbers of elements and in between different elements, total seven numbers of nodes will be there. Right? Let us create those nodes accordingly. First node will be created at origin. Okay. So apply that is first node is created at origin. Next one will be at 2000 millimeter away. Apply. Second node is created. Third node will be 4000 millimeter away. Applied. Fourth node will be 6000 millimeter away. Applied. Next one, we have to create nodes in the upward direction. It will be at 1000 x coordinate and 1000 it will be y coordinate. Applied. Let us see the drawing again. This part is done. Again, this one will be. Next node will be at 3000 and 1000. Apply. And the last node will be 5000, 1000. Okay. All the nodes have been created. Now all these nodes can be joined in the form of elements. Elements or to numbered through nodes. You can join all these nodes. Number one, number two, apply. Two, th three, applied. Three, four, applied. One, five, applied. Five, two, applied. Two, six, applied. Five, six, applied. Six, three, applied. Three, seven, applied. Six, seven, applied. And finally, seven, fourth. Okay. All the nodes have been joined together and we got the elements, right? Let's count the elements. One, 
11 numbers of elements are there in between seven numbers of nodes okay next to that we have to apply boundary conditions and also at node number four we have to provide inclined support of rulers okay so that can be done from here itself create nodes rotate node coordinate system by angles let us select node number four okay node number four is selected and that will be rotated about z axis with an angle of 30 degree done next to that we have to apply our boundary conditions it will be started from loads define loads it will be structural displacement on nodes initially at node number one it will be fixed so all degrees of freedom should be selected and it will be having zero displacement first boundary condition is applied next one at node number four we have to apply another boundary condition structural displacement on node select node number four okay it will be having support from downwards that means ui should be equal to zero applied next to that we have to apply different forces apply force moment on nodes let us see the values of these things second node will be having force of 3000 newton in the downward direction and third one will be 4000 and seventh one will be 6000 so all forces will be in the negative directions okay let us apply forces on two it will be 3000 newton on node number two it will be fy as it will be acting in the downward direction minus 3000 newton minus 3000 newton applied second one will be also minus 4000 newton applied and the last one will be 6000 newton in the negative direction of x axis okay it will be fx and it will be minus 6000 all the forces have been applied to this truss member next one we have to solve it solution solve current less okay it is showing solution is done so everything is perfect we can see our results from general post processing initially we see results from plot results deformed shape it is deformed plus undeformed it will show the original drawing and the chest drawing by the application of forces now white drawing is the original drawing and blue is the chest drawing by the application of forces you can see it in 3d format also but controls style size and shift and the display of elements should be on so this is the cross member right we can see the cross section area also it is very less cross section area it is 120 millimeter square okay right so we'll see it again from front view then display of elements will make it off Next one we want to see displacement into plot nodal solution displacement vector sum we can see displacement at defined nodes maximum displacement is occurring at node number three where the maximum displacement is 2.77204 millimeter and minimum displacement occurs at node number one and node number four it is indicated by 
blue color okay so this is actually maximum displacement again this displacement values we can see in the form of listing so list with us node oscillation observation and displacement vector sum we can see all these results in the form of data on numbers it's clearly visible that maximum displacement occurs node number 3 is 2.7720 at node number 3 maximum displacement okay And next we are going to see elemental results. We're going to see elemental solution. That means we want to find out stresses and forces acted on different trust members. For that, we have to create that elemental table. Element table. We have to define the table. Nothing is defined, so we have to add it. Initially, you want to see stresses by sequence number and it will be LS and elemental reference number is 1. Apply and next one you will see forces acting on each member. So we can denote this one as force. By sequence number it will be SMISC one. Okay. Let us update and close. Now we can see our results that means stresses and forces acting on each members. Initially, we will plot the results. Plot elemental table. This one is forces. Initially, we see stresses acting on each of the different members. Let us see stress values on each members. It's clearly visible that maximum stress is suffered by the element number three. This is the third element, right? The maximum stress is indicated by red color and it is 51.0688 Newton per minute square. And minimum stress is suffered by this member, which is in the range of minus 99.44 Newton per millimeter square. This is actually compressive stress, and this one is actually tensile stress. Okay, next to that, we will see forces acting on each of the members. So these are the forces acting on each of the members and maximum force is acted on this element and maximum force is 6.128 kN and minimum force is acted on this member which is compressive force in the range of minus 11.33 kN. Okay. Now all these same results we can see in the form of listing. So list elemental table. We are selecting both stress and forces. Let us see. It is showing that maximum stress is this one and this is maximum forces. We are having total 11 numbers of elements and these are the stresses suffered on each of the elements and these are the forces acting on each of the elements. From this data it is clearly evident that uh, maximum stress is actually 51.069 and the maximum compressive uh, stress is equal to minus 94.44 newton per millimeter square. Similarly, different amount of forces are acted on different members. You can see, excluding that we can find reaction forces also. Let us find this one from List results, reaction solution, we can see reaction solution for all the items also. 
we can see different reaction forces at the supports at node number one and node number four we can see reaction forces fx y and j fz also along z direction we are not having any kind of reaction forces along fx and fy we are getting different values of reactions okay this is about our today's video it was a simple trust member analysis where one of the node is supported on an inclined roller support okay thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye